This story will probably enrage you. So this is your trigger warning because we are going to get into everything revolving the career of Shirley Temple and it is very triggering. So don't say I didn't warn you. I will have to censor some of my words and things that I say for YouTube. But some of the clips made me uncomfortable. It's a very uncomfortable story and Shirley Temple is just a very, very strong woman. All right. It's a shame that society was not really ready for the adult Shirley Temple. I mean, look at her. She was beautiful, right? She was sad typecasted into childish roles for the remainder of her life despite her breathtaking beauty and versatility as an adult. But Shirley Temple didn't really want anything to do with Hollywood anymore by the time she was of age. She began her journey in Hollywood at the tender age of three years old and she retired by the age of 22. By the time she was 22 she was over it. She was like you know what I want to go do other things. She was overworked okay. She began acting in an era before producers had censorship guidelines and where anything went in Hollywood including films starring hypersensualized toddlers, if you catch my drift, pretending to be street workers. And y'all know what I mean by street workers, cause YouTube, like I said, but women who sells their bodies, okay? And three-year-olds were playing drunks and street workers and angry veterans and all of that. And she suffered unimaginable abuse on set behind the scenes and was not believed when she spoke out. Her mother was always present with her on sets for like, cause she was her hairstylist. But despite that, she couldn't be present for every situation. And when Shirley Temple went and tried to tell her mother what was going on, like the abuses that she was dealing with on set, she chose not to believe her daughter and despite that do you know that Shirley Temple still wrote very well about her mother she said that she was showered with love like I mean her dad took all her money from her her mother didn't believe her kind of pushed her into the limelight it's just crazy but she still had nothing but positive things to say about her mother saying she wasn't pushy and she showered me with love etc which kind of reminds me of Drew Barrymore and Brooke Shields which I did videos for where they just seem to just like have nothing but positive things to say about their mother even though we as the public can clearly see that hey your mother could have really prevented a lot of this trauma in your life but they will choose to see the positive which just says a lot about their soul how pure their soul were and how innocent you know people are with their parents they really just want the love and validation of their parents that you can really turn a blind eye to all the trauma that your parents put you through just because you want to be loved it's just so tragic right but as always before we get into all of that um we will get into everything like i stated i do want to start on a very positive and light note because this video is so heavy so before you click off as tradition i want you guys to grow familiar with shirley temple's personality to really get to know her we will discuss some fun facts like her favorite thing food diets and stuff like that and some of her beauty secrets in her adult years that kept her looking youthful then we will discuss her childhood career personality and her eventually walking away from hollywood you know all the creepy details but first hey friend welcome to my channel Korean allude where we deep dive and break down the most iconic stars through history if you're not yet subscribed please be sure to do so and if you're already subscribed please turn on your notification bell so you never miss an upload and uh, starting on a lighter note let's talk about her beauty secret so Shirley Temple is an iconic figure in the entertainment industry known for her adorable curly locks and her charismatic performances she captured the hearts of millions around the world however it's not just her talent that has captivated people but also her timeless beauty which has kept generations enchanted especially now I mean look at her as an adult she was just gorgeous right gorgeous and she could have gave any of the starlets a run for their money but you know what the tabloids back then were so ruthless probably more ruthless than we have tabloids today if you guys think tabloids today and gossip channels and all that are harsh they were so harsh during this era where they talked about her body calling her stocky they didn't even think she was a real adult like they thought she was like a dwarf and that she wasn't you know real it's just weird we're gonna get into some things okay you all have heard of the shirley temple hair like the shirley temple curls and probably once in your lifetime had to have the shirley temple curls for like picture day or school day we've all went through that embarrassing moment especially if you were born in the 80s or 90s right so what is the shirley temple hair shirley temple's signature hairstyle was her curly locks which were an integral part of her brand as a child star she was born with straight hair which was styled into the beautiful waves that became her trademark her mother was responsible for shirley's hair she was her stylist and used to set it in very small curlers which the young actress slept in every night which were uncomfortable for 
her. She spoke about how uncomfortable it was. And when she woke up in the morning, her curls were perfectly formed and ready for the day ahead. As Shirley grew older, her hair became naturally more curly, though she still had it permed for some of her roles. And her mother also did a vinegar rinse for her hair, which Shirley stated that she hated because it would sting her eyes. But the vinegar rinses kept her hair shiny and free of dandruff. Now, when it comes to her makeup secrets, even as a child actress, Shirley Temple wore a little bit of makeup, which included a touch of pink blush, lip gloss, and a hit of mascara. However, she was never one to go overboard with her makeup, even in her adult years, and her natural beauty always shone through. Shirley also preferred to keep things simple for her hair and makeup routine so she wouldn't take too long getting ready because time was money, and she grew up with that mentality that time was money. Shirley Temple was known for her sparkling smile, but it wasn't all down to good genetics. She had veneers fitted on her teeth, which gave her the Hollywood smile that she became famous for. These veneers gave her the confidence to grin wide on camera and mesmerize audiences with her charm and beauty. Now, as far as health and fitness, Shirley's favorite food was reportedly her mother's fried chicken, which she enjoyed as a rare treat. She also loved ice cream, specifically vanilla ice cream. However, she remained active thanks to her dancing and singing routines, which kept her fit and healthy. And as she grew older, she enjoyed swimming and was an avid golfer which helped her stay in shape. Now in terms of her fashion, while Shirley Temple was known for her adorable curls and dimpled smile, she was also admired for her fashion sense. And as an adult, she had a classic and elegant style that always exuded sophistication. Her favorite color was blue, so leave a blue heart in the comment sections for her, okay? And she loved to wear tailored suits, chic dresses, and timeless jewelry to complement her look, but she was also very simple. She was always very humble, down from her childhood to her adult years. In terms of her personality, Shirley Temple's personality was just as beautiful as her appearance and she was beloved by all those who knew her. Family and friends described her as a kind and generous person who always had a positive attitude and despite the fame and fortune that came with her success, she remained humble and down to earth, a trait that endeared her to audiences everywhere and she even loved the crew that she worked on set with more than the stars and the directors and stuff. So even the crew would always describe her like from the general to whoever it was is just super super friendly and at a time where the whole racial divide was happening where they even would put her in blackface which is so offensive she was just a toddler so I'm not even going to show that picture Shirley Temple was actually very progressive even as a child and I can say I'll give her parents some credit for that even though they were terrible in other ways where Shirley Temple even as an adult years she went to Ghana and met with leaders there and she was very supportive of people of color on set too and was not bratty. She also tap danced with a lot of African Americans and you know she was very progressive even at her young age and then grew with that progression into her adult years. So she really was not one of those people like you know how these stars today will cuss out their fans okay. She was definitely not one of those people and was never bratty and always showed the utmost respect to everyone around her. She just had a really pure soul. I really really just like Shirley Temple okay and you guys should get her autobiography. She just was a really wholesome person. That's Let's just say that. Now in terms of her childhood this is where it's so triggering like she didn't deserve any of this Shirley Jane Temple the love child star and American icon was born on April 23rd 1928 in Santa Monica California she was the cherished third child of Gertrude Temple a homemaker and George Temple a bank employee Shirley had two brothers John and George Jr and the family was a mix of Dutch English and German ancestry the family later moved to Brentwood Los Angeles where Shirley spent most of her early childhood from an early age Shirley showed an exceptional talent for singing, dancing, and acting, and her mother Gertrude encouraged and nurtured her talents. When she was only three years old, Gertrude enrolled Shirley in Meglin's Dance School in Los Angeles, hoping to turn her into a successful performer. It wasn't long before Shirley's adorable features, charming personality, and natural talent caught the eye of a casting director for educational pictures, Charles Lamont. Shirley's first break came in 1932 when she appeared in Baby Burlesque, a series of 10-minute comedy shorts that was a satire you know of different shows recent films and events using preschool children in every role by having children play highly mature roles 
Baby Burlesque, it's all in the name anyways, aimed to parody current events and well-known movies. This might have come across as cute at the time to people that were watching, they didn't see the problem with it, but in modern times, you guys would be so disturbed. They had these little kids doing some bizarre things, okay? Like even getting spanked by a grown man in a sensual manner, like laying across a grown man and he has a paddle and he's like, it's just weird. Take the parody Politics in Washington by Shirley Temple as an example. She wore a little bra and revealing little undergarment as a courtesan. She was playing a courtesan, okay? And she was three years old playing this role. Oh, so uncomfortable. Temple had to act like a sensual adult for the first work, for her first work. She stops by a senator's office in one scene and she's not only flaunting her hips and dripping in pearls, but she is also imitating adult passion by kissing the senator's lips and embracing him. The other little children like Temple had no real understanding of what they were doing. Like it just was not their fault, okay? Oh, hello, I'm Polly Tick. But Slip I sent me over to entertain you. <laughs> The Baby Burlesque, War Babies, which is another movie that was so disturbing, was another in which Shirley Temple starred at three years old. Temple had another improper character in this movie. She dances provocatively for the army men who are also portrayed by juvenile actors in an effort to catch their attention. Even worse, she says she's expensive and offers kisses in exchange for lollipops. <laughs> And yet, in some strange way, even this wasn't the worst part. The directors also was cruel with the kids if they didn't perform to his liking. Charles Lamont, the director, would place a child who needed to be disciplined in a silent box. However, this wasn't just any box. It was a little box with an ice block inside. It was terrible, icy, and cramped place to be. Lamont threatened to punish them further if they ever came forward to tell their parents about him and Temple was ignored when she attempted to try to tell her mother about this dark situation. It's crucial to keep in mind though that Shirley Temple's mother launched her career. She launched her daughter's career, right? Miss Temple aspired to live vicariously via the success of her daughter and after all Shirley was her mother's ticket to fame and money as a failing ballerina herself. In the face of director Charles Lamont, Shirley Temple was absolutely helpless and people on the outside were accusing her of lying. Lamont conveyed the kids anyway. He pleased and did whatever he wanted with them. This isn't playtime kids, it's work, he would yell at the kids. Temple would recall. Even though she was in pain physically, she still was made to work because time was money and this was something they kept repeating to the children all the time. Shirley's talent and natural charm soon caught the attention of other movie studios and she was quickly signed up for small roles in various films 
films, including an uncredited part in The Last Man. Shirley's childhood in Hollywood was not typical. From a young age, she was working long hours on movie sets, and her mother was constantly managing her demanding schedule and strict diet to ensure that she stayed camera ready. To finance production costs at Educational Pictures, Shirley and her co-stars model for breakfast cereals and other products to make ends meet. And despite the pressures and demands of being a child star, Shirley didn't let fame get to her head. She remained humble, polite, and gracious to everyone she met, earning her the affectionate nickname America's Sweetheart. She was really a sweetheart, okay? During her childhood, Shirley Temple's net worth was estimated to be around three to four million, which is a phenomenal amount for a child star during that time and with a lot of money during that time. John Casson states that she was also the most popular celebrity to endorse merchandise for children and adults, rivaled only by Mickey Mouse. She transformed children's fashion and by the mid 1930s, ideal novelty and toy company lines of Shirley Temple's dolls accounted for almost a third of all dolls sold in the country. Shirley Temple dolls realized 45 million in sales before 1941, which is equivalent to $895 million in 2023. Successfully, Shirley Temple items included a line of girls' dresses, accessories, soap, dishes, cutout books, sheet music, mirrors, paper towels, and numerous other items. And before 1935 ended, the girl's income from licensed merchandise royalties would exceed $100,000, which is equivalent to like $2.1 million in today's time, which doubled her income from her movies in 1936. Her income from royalties topped $200,000, which is equivalent to $4.2 million today. Nevertheless, Shirley's earnings were carefully managed by her mother and other advisors, and she did not have access to her fortune until she turned 21. However, in 1934, Shirley's father, George, became her manager. He mismanaged her wealth and even spent some of it on himself, leaving Shirley with just $44,000 in her account by the time she was 22, which is so upsetting. Now, in her later career, fast forward to February 1935 and Shirley Temple becomes the first child star to receive a miniature juvenile Oscar for her cinematic achievements. A month later, she's leaving her handprints and footprints at Grandman's Chinese Theater, cementing her status as Hollywood royalty. To make Shirley feel at home, Weinfeld Sheehan, head of Fox, builds her a four-room bungalow right at the studio. <laughs> they wanted her to be ready to work so bad that they just built her a little house right there on the studio. You can't make this up. It was complete with a garden, a picket fence, a tree swing, and even a rabbit pen. The living room wall is adorned with a mural of Shirley as a fairy tale princess, complete with a golden star on her head. And thus, the Shirley Temple phenomenon continues to enchant audiences, with the studio making sure their star is well taken care of. But with all of this, we know that what goes up must eventually come down. The studios definitely started turning against her. Let's first address the crazy rumors before we address the flops. Imagine this, rumors were flying around that Shirley Temple, America's sweetheart, wasn't a child at all, but a 30-year-old dwarf. This absurd claim was apparently due to her slightly stocky frame. They kept commenting on her body so much it's sickening because she was still a child they were dissecting the body of a child guys i can't make this up the gossip was so widespread especially across europe that the vatican felt the need to send father silvio masante on a mission to confirm whether she was really a child like why do the vatican care the vatican is i don't want to say anything but the stuff they used to care about during that era was weird why do you care about whether a child is a child or not like what does that have to do with god <laughs> you know comment below your thoughts on that it's just the stuff that they cared about was beyond me that you buy a plane ticket for someone send them all the way to america to examine her body how weird and creepy and upsetting is that okay anyways and then there was the mystery of her ever perfect smile people wondered why doesn't she ever seem to lose any teeth this led some to jump to the wild conclusion that she must have a full set of adult teeth which wasn't true the reality like any other child Shirley was regularly losing her baby teeth during her time at Fox to maintain her perfect on-screen smile she wore dental plates and caps to cover up any gaps and just to add to the ridiculousness there were whispers that her teeth had been filed down to look like baby teeth which was also not true then there were the tall tales about her iconic curls some believe she was wearing a wig and fans would even tug and pull out her hair to test a theory she didn't even have privacy 
for herself like she'd be out in public and you'd have adults pulling on this little kid's hair just to see if it's real or not without her consent i can't even imagine one of the most bizarre accusations though levied at temple came in 1939 the accuser believed that temple had stolen her daughter's soul and she went so far as to try to assassinate temple during a live radio performance of silent night the woman believed that shooting temple would release her daughter's soul from captivity but thankfully she was unsuccessful which was crazy in 1940 shirley temple the darling of america found herself facing a challenge two of her films released by 20th century fox the bluebird and the young people didn't perform as expected at the box office given this downturn in her career her parents decided to buy out the rest of her contract and at the tender age of 12 shirley was enrolled at westlake school for girls a prestigious day school in los angeles marking a shift in her life from film set to school desk back at the studio the bungalow that had once been her home you know that little house they built from her for her so she could still continue to work in the studio it was renovated and all signs of its former occupants were removed the building was repurposed into an office signifying the end of an era it's like hollywood will chew you up and spit you out you're not making us money anymore let's turn this house into an office that's how they did her. However, Hollywood wasn't quite ready to let go of her just yet. They still wanted to milk out what they could from her. MGM, another major film studio, saw potential for a comeback and signed her on. They had big plans to cast her alongside Judy Garland and Mickey Rooney on the popular Andy Hardy series. And I did a video for um, Judy Garland also. Shirley's only film with MGM turned out to be Kathleen in 1941. The film, which told the story of a troubled teenager, didn't fare well at the box office and resulted in the mutual termination of her contract with MGM. She also dealt with a similar experience with Selznick and uh, it's just too annoying to say but you know he was this producer that did Gone with the Wind and he's a weird character himself. He's on my list to do a breakdown for but he basically had this remote in his office that he can shut the door you know in his office closed without even getting up from his desk with just a touch of his finger and he had her in his office and locked the door and basically proceeded to chasing her around his office to try to sleep with her and she was still a young girl i'm telling y'all but he grew tired of chasing her because she just kept running around in circles he eventually just let her out but yeah it turns out her career started spiraling after that because she just was not giving in to sleeping and it was part of date um david oselznick's contract to like you know let me not say contract but it was a well-known secret in hollywood that you know you have to sleep with him if you work with him it has to be a casual consistent thing it didn't matter how old you were you know he was like a harvey w of his era just terrible and according to robert wendeller a biographer the film she made between 1947 and 1949 didn't make much impact financially they lacked the high quality production values of her earlier work and her performances didn't shine as brightly as before and in august 1950 shirley auditioned for the broadway stage role of peter pan but was unsuccessful and recognizing that her recent films hadn't been up to par she made a crucial decision about her future on december 16 1950 shirley temple announced her retirement from films closing a chapter on one of her Hollywood's most enchanting childhood stars and she went on to be in politics you can look up her political work like I said she went to Ghana also and she was just making a lot of waves with that and speaking up about a lot of issues for women and in general you know so she still she lived a happier life outside of Hollywood but let's get into her marriages real quick when Shirley Temple was just 15 years old in 1943 she met John Agar a sergeant in the Army Air Corps and physical training instructor he was also part of a wealthy family from Chicago that was into meatpacking. Shirley tied the knot with him on September 1994 when she was only 17. They had a grand wedding at the Wilshire Methodist Church in Los Angeles and they had like 500 guests so it was a huge wedding. Shirley and John welcomed their daughter Linda Susan, gorgeous girl, on January 30th 1948. Agra transitioned into acting and he and Shirley starred together in two films, Fort Apache, an adventure in Baltimore. However, their marriage was fraught with difficulties. John reportedly struggled with alcoholism and was unfaithful. Shirley decided to end their marriage citing mental cruelty and they divorced on December 5th 1949. She was granted custody of their daughter. Shirley's life took a turn for the better when she met Charles Alden Black in January 1950. Charles was a decorated Navy intelligence officer during World War II and was working as the assistant to the president of the Hawaiian Pineapple Company coming from a well-to-do family. His father was the president of the Pacific Gas and Electric making Charles one of California's wealthiest young men. So he 
came for money, okay? He wasn't a nobody. And Shirley and Charles got married in an intimate ceremony, not as big as the first one, at his parents' home in Del Monte, California on December 16th, 1950. When the Korean War broke out, Charles was called back to the Navy and the family moved to Washington, D.C. They welcomed their son, Charles Black Jr. on April 28th, 1952. And after the war, the family returned to California in May 1953. Their second daughter, Lori, was born on April 9th, 1954. And Shirley and Charles enjoyed a long and happy marriage of 54 years until Charles passed away on August 4th, 2005 due to complications from a bone marrow disease. In 1972, when Shirley Temple was 44 years old, she was diagnosed with breast cancer. And sadly, Shirley Temple passed away at the age of 85 on February 10th, 2014. And today she rests in peace at the Alta Mesa Memorial Park. Her life continues to be an inspiration for many. And this is all I have for this video. I just think she went through so much. Please leave a blue heart in the comment section for her. And I'm glad that she just found love and happiness and died doing what she loved. And I'm just so infuriated. I'm about to cleanse myself now, okay? <laughs> Please watch my Judy Garland video next. It's linked in the comment section pinned. Check that out and it's also in the end cards. I love you guys so much. Thank you for tuning in. If you like the music you're listening to, the link is in the description. Until next time.